Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So we've been doing a lot of preparations for going to the asteroids or the asteroid belt. Let's carry on with that. And there's a few more things that sort of that are obvious but didn't really think about. And one of the obvious things about is actually test having a look in here. And you'll see here I've got a load of books. We'll take those out to start with. If I sort my inventory out. And I've also got this repairs talisman. Now I discovered this repairs talisman by accident. It was also on a video by um, Xhedra. And it basically repairs all your items, including your armor. Once every second. Doesn't show up particularly well there, but uh, it will do in a minute, I think, if we go downstairs. Yes, we can go downstairs. And have a look at some of the armor I've got down there or tools or whatever maybe there's a bow in here or something like that I've been clearing them out because they obviously they fill up here we've got one power three bow so when I've got this at the moment it's got durability 108 I put this into my inventory it's going up 109 110 11 and 12 and these repairs to actually don't cost that much so let's have a look at the recipe for that Oops, wrong one. I've got sorted on my inventory and it moved things around. So where's it gone to there? So it's made out of these high convalescence dust or covalescence dust, medium and low covalescence dust. Two pieces of string and a piece of paper. Not really exciting. These are made out of eight cobblestone and charcoal. That's pretty straightforward. And you get 40. These are made out of one redstone and one iron. You get 40. And these are made out of one diamond and a piece of coal, and you get 40. So you can make a few of these things if you want to. And it just happens he repairs your stuff. Well, I don't want that boat at the moment. So let's go back upstairs. And it repairs everything except for, um, if you didn't see the episode that is, uh, Tinker's Construct stuff, which you have to repair manually. So let's actually, what do I want to do? I want to show you this. What I hadn't thought about. Let's get some XP first of all. 411, what about that? Let's take a while. Let's take a good few stack, 100. So on here, I've basically got power 4. Now if you look at the uses of this grapple, because we made a grapple on last time, right, you can decompose it, very good. But you can also enchant it. So you've got XP boosts, I'm not quite sure how that's going to do. Soul bound, flim flam, Power 1 to 5, Flame, I don't quite know what Flame and Punch, Unbreaking is obvious, but we don't need Unbreaking, and Auto Smelt do. But Soulbound and Power is pretty obvious, I reckon, that you can throw it further with Power, and Soulbound will keep it connected to you. It doesn't have Infinity, actually. So let's just enchant that. That's Power. So let's put it in here and put it Power on it. Cost of 8. So now it's power four. And the other one is obviously worth doing is putting soul bound on it. And I thought, well, maybe we can do the same thing with oxygen tanks. And sure enough, you can. We can put, I've got to check because the books move around a bit. And of course, oxygen max. So I guess we can put soul bound on these as well. And oxygen gear. Probably got some more soul bound in here. There we go. Let's have a look at that now. And also, Let's have a look. Uh, I've got two more soulbound books, I think. We're going to make. So these are now soulbound. So let's put those on. Yeah, of course, I'm going to do that if I put that one, which is a soulbound one, that one. And the oxygen. Okay, and uh, let's take these two off. Put those on. Like that. And the grappling hook's got pro those two, that's pretty good. But I also discovered this, the alchemy bag. Now the alchemy bag, let's have a look at the recipe for this. Is made, well you can colour it basically, selfless, uh, shapeless crafting. Or you can make it with this high co covalescence dust. One alchemy chest and some wool. An alchemy chest is one each of those, one diamond, two pieces of stone. It's a pretty cheap recipe actually. But have you seen the capacity of this thing? Let's have a look. It's massive. It really has got a lot of capacity. So there we are. I'm not sure what else I'm going to... Well, I suppose you, there is something else we could actually enchant, and that's the rocket. We could actually enchant rockets. We can keep those soul bound as well. So if we die, 
we get a rocket back. So let's do that. And sure enough, we can enchant our rocket. So there we go. I don't know if we can do other th enchants. I didn't check it. Let's have a look. Let's look at use of this. Soul bound. Yes, it's soul bound. Because I actually get quite a lot of soul bound books. And I'll put this one back in here like this and this one down here like that. So we've got plenty of those. In fact, yeah, that'll do, I think. I'm just having a think. Make sure we've got everything we need. We need string for the grappling hook. Well, I've got string and none. So I need to get some string. I was hoping to get infinity, which we then wouldn't use up string, but we've got 14,000 of those. Let's make sure that we put that in the in the bag. And I think that's all we need for the bag. What else have we got in here? I've got an ender chest. That'll be good to pull stuff back. I want the red ender chest. We've got one of those. And maybe I'll take a fuel ender chest as well. So let's have a look. Ender chest. I got four. I managed to get four in the end. So for fuel, we need an orange colour. We haven't got any. But we've probably got red and yellow. One of those. And one yellow one. I haven't got any yellow. Dandelion and yellow, we haven't got any more. We'll go and get some of that. It's dead easy. Um, bone meal. I think the other thing we need to take with us when we got on our trip, so we'll cut our animals, how they're doing. The bubble, bubble's still there. And sure enough, the animals are still there too. Fantastic. And in here, I've got a vacuum hopper. And the vacuum hopper is just picking up anything that's lying around. In this case, mostly eggs. Well, just eggs. So over here, I should have my sunflower. Actually, there's a mob behind there. Oh, that'll be, I know, that'll be, that'll be many. Let's pick a few of these up. In fact, I'll make 64 of them, I think. Or simply right-click it with a bone wheel. And every time we right-click it, we get a, uh, a sunflower. Probably don't need to do this, because like that. And I should have 64 sunflowers. And we're going to put that in the pulverizer, and we'll get a load of... yellow dye or dandelion yellow pull riser that's a slow one it doesn't matter very much if it does we'll just take those with this and get and make a we can go make an orange dye so we want one of those and probably some of this as well so we can kill that off so now, I've got a chest there, I wanted to make a yeah, chest for the, I'll make two in fact, let's just do it like this, for orange, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's the middle one, let's just double check it, yep, like that, we can just break those up, now I've increased this pickaxe to efficiency, oops, as you see, it takes up everything I don't want it to take up now. What have we got on here? Efficiency 5, I think. Yeah. Auto smelt and soul bound. Uh, this one we want to have one of these, and we want to make this a red one. Let's put that down like that. Red's on the right hand side. And then we should have everything that we actually need. Put those in there, those will match up with those too nicely. We've got a waste stone, we probably need a waste stone. In fact, we probably need another waste stone as it happens. In fact, I'll use the. No, I want to use this one. Like that. In fact, let me put the other, the other end of chest in here. I think that's all we need. So I've got some chandeliers. Actually, we'll take those with us because we want to put those down straight away when we get there. Do 
you know what I haven't made and I could well I could well make is the other parts for doing the rocket so the fuel um, just ever if you just in case you ever need it so but with the waste then we don't so long as we got the waste then it's fine and I think that's everything that we need oh no I wanted to make the end didn't I well the end is a pretty straightforward recipe let's make it like that and also I wanted to um, put a vibrant crystal on this one Um, let's have a look at the uses of that one. Oops. Try again. Let's click, remember to click off it before we type U. And we can make a vibrant crystal like this. Got one of those now. And then we can put that on there. And then we need some capacitors on it. Oh, we've got in stock. All right, we've got one of these. So we'll want one of those. And we'll want some sharpness if we've got the sharpness book, which we probably have. And in here, I should have one each of these. Fantastic. Got rather a lot of those actually. I probably should get rid of some of them. So let's go and put those on to the ender. I'm just thinking if I need anything else on the end on the ender actually. So we need the vibrant crystal first. So that gives it empowers it. Then we need to put each one of these on it one at a time. Oh, I've got not enough XP now. I need 20. So that'll now be empowered. I wonder if the, actual, the durability goes up. I mean, the, the actual energy goes up, because it does. With this, it does keep it repaired, so maybe it doesn't need it for that one. But what we can also put on this, we can enchant it. So obviously enchanting it with soul, soul bound would be a good idea. Where is that? Did I put it in? I forgot where I put it now. Goodness. Ah, there we go, soul bound. Let's go and put that on it. For starters. In fact, while we're doing that, let's put it in the, um, in the charger over here so it gets charged up. That basically reduces its damage. So it's got six attack damage at the moment, which isn't that brilliant. But what we could actually do with it is enchant it on the enchantment table. I've got 20 now. I've got 20 XP. Let's go and get 10 more and do a 30 enchant on it. Hopefully we get something good. Right, that's now fully charged. It didn't actually show fully charged on there until you actually looked at it. So the intrinsic table's over here. Where's it gone to? There we are. Oh, I've got to take soul band off first. Never mind, I'll do that. That was a bit daft, wasn't it? Two. All right, try that again. Of course, I haven't got 30x. Well, I haven't got 30xp with me because I just used two, just taking it off. Whoops. Didn't think about that. Actually, we'll take another 10. And then we'll be sure we can take it off if we ever need to take something off. Try that again. Now we've got 30 XP. What have we got here? Auto smell and breaking three. Well, not so good. I really wanted to get some sharpness on it, but let's have a look. What have we got in here? Flim flam. I don't know what flim flam does. Auto smelt. XP boost and breaking. We're not too care about fortune. We don't really want, but there is a smite in here. These are for pickaxes. Fire aspect, sharpness, sharpness four, smite two. I think they're mutually exclusive if I remember rightly. So let's go and enchant this thing. Oh, I can't do it there, can I? I've got to go and do it, take them upstairs. Unless I want to take them breaking off it. So we've got sharpness four. 
Enchantment costs 11. And I think we'll try that one, because that's going to be a good one to have. What have you gone to? Sharpness 4. And I think if you put Smite on it, it doesn't work, give you any, any anything on it, because it's exclusive. And Smite's really just for the undead, so that's no good. And Soulbound was the other one I wanted on it, wasn't it? And Gemma cost 16, and I haven't got enough again. These things will disappear when I... 17, that's fine. Right, there we go. So I think we've got everything we need. But what I'm going to do next... I'm going to do a quick backup, which I should have done to start with, to be honest with you, and I forgot. So just a second, let me press E here, and now I'm going to get to my console, and I'll type in episode 110. And then it starts to back up. It goes read-only, and then it backs it up, and then it writes it again. So as you can see, just down here, press escape now. With a bit of luck, it looks like it's backed up, and then it's finished it, and it's done. Right. So if I ever need to go back, I can. Let's get this rocket set up. Coming up to evening time, doesn't matter about that, or late evening. Let's put the rocket on there. Let's make sure it's got plenty of fuel, which it has, of course. Well, we can fill it up with some of these. We'll empty these two tanks out of here. Let's get into the rocket. It should be nearly full. Press F to find out what we got fuel-wise. Not enough yet. So as soon as we go in there, we go to the asteroids. And I want to set up a little base on the, on the island that we'll land on. I've also done a little bit of reconfiguration We've got a smite and sharpness three. Okay, let's go. Of the controls. And then when I say the controls, I mean the controls of the um Well, Minecraft controls. So I can actually activate the glider. So there we go. It's really weird with those um, redstone lamps appearing from nowhere. It's so one of those really strange things. I still haven't got him from the other side yet, have I? Now, I've never used the asteroid miner before. So this is where we're going to go to here. Click again to zoom. And let's launch. We're in an entry pod. We basically land on something. In fact, we land on here. And as you can see, there are plenty of mobs. Let's get out of here, first of all. And then press um, oh, night vision. I'll tell you what we'll do. Get this out here because I can't see a thing. Of course, there's a mob in here as well. What have we got? Oops, got lots of mobs in here. Right, I have to get my weapons out. Let's get the last five on it. Let's see if we can kill these guys. That wasn't too bad. Now I've got my landing, that's good. I've got my landing and I've got my rocket back again. Good. So let's put down some chandeliers now, first of all. So that'll put down, it'll give me some light. I think I can do it like this. Oops, another, another mob's coming down out. Now I'm going to fly up. Right, that's not too bad. I got at least. So I must have some blocks on me, I hope. I don't have any blocks on me. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just make a little hole down here, like this. And then I can put the chandelier in here. Like that. So that's going to prevent mob spawning in here. So we've got to get out of here next. And actually kill a few mobs so right we can do it to about there okay good so while i'm going to do that let's just knock a few more blocks out of here so 
So I've got some way of getting out of it. We'll keep those with us, keep that one with us. Actually, I like this to be in my number one slot weapons. It's just one of my preferences. So here we've got some asteroid rock. We'll look at what these are like in a second. We'll put that down there. And then we can jump up here like this. And some spiders are above us, which will be fun. I should have put some. Well, I haven't got any to be honest. Let's put another one over there. And as you can see, oops, I'm falling down again. <laughs> it's actually quite hard to get out of here. I probably could use the grappling hook. Let's get the grappling hook into play. And then we can grapple onto somewhere like that, you see. If you aim at it like that, it should hit that bit. Oh, I've got string. Okay, I've got string with me. I must be in the bag. Let's get the string out of it. Let's take half the string. Right, that'll do fine. So let's just jump up and kill a few of these spiders. And of course you get, oops, flying is not enabled back to tackle screen. Well, that's a bit of a strange one, isn't it? Failed, I've got to quit. All right, I'll be back in a minute. Right, I'm back. I've allowed flight on the server now, so, oops. I want to go forward if I can. Kill these guys if I can as well. It's quite a... That's why I decided I had to get prepared for this thing before we start on it. I have actually got a bow with me as well. I should use my bow, shouldn't I? Get rid of that pesky skeleton. Let's do that. I have got some food with me in the chest. That's it, good. And there shouldn't be too many mobs spawning here now, so that's also good. Because of the chandelier. So I'm going to put down another chandelier. I'm going to put some torches down first of all. And we're going to put down another chandelier or so. I think we'll probably do it on each corner. Obviously it'd be best if I didn't have to use chandeliers, but... I think we just need to do it like this. It'd be nice to actually have it on dangling down from something realistic wouldn't it so let's put it there like that and then do that over this corner as well there are a few mobs over here of course as we expect I want the end of that will do that time he didn't die that was good didn't blow up in he did die, of course. Let's put this down here like that. And then some more. I'll put another one on here. Gravity is quite low here as well, so that's uh, another feature. And put another chandelier down here. So that should prevent most of them all spawning on this little island. Where's he gone to? Let's get rid of these two guys. Can't reach him. Half a heart. So it takes three shots to get these guys. I've missed Trigum. Right, he's falling away, so don't worry about him. So that should keep the this bit reasonably safe. I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll get, we'll get out of here the the bow. Yeah, exactly. I say should. Doesn't always work that way, does it? Where's he gone to? I will also have to light the place up as well, that's another good idea. 
but I'm not spawning sure if they're actually spawning on here yet so let's just put some torches down there a second that's another one let's put some torches down make sure that they're not going to spawn around here We should do this first, to be honest with you. Because this rock we actually we land on is actually reasonably, reasonably large, and they will spawn. I could press F4 as well. That would be another good thing to do. We can see where we got to put torches down. I'm not going to worry about the sides too much. I can definitely hear a few zombies around. Oh, there's quite a few dark areas in here, isn't there? I'm just not 100% sure if those chandeliers do actually work. That's the other thing. But lighting it up will definitely work. dying what I could of course do here is also to set up a why is he dying set up a turret there was another mob over here as well It was only one hit, it must have already been hurt, so let's just make sure we put down another torch down here, something like that. And I think we're reasonably safe now, just go around the sides a little bit more. Oh, it's a bit dark over here, isn't it? And you can jump quite a long way as you can see on here. Let's put another one down there. But we've got the we've got the hook so we can go a very long way with the hook anyway. Which we shall demonstrate possibly next time. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go down here and build a little bit more of a base. So we have a, a safe area in which to arrive in to. And then we'll probably go back home again. So let's just change this to mode 3, 5. There, isn't it? Like that. Let's put some torches down in here. Actually put a chandelier on the top of it. And let's put some torch. Actually, it does light up the area as well. That's interesting, isn't it? Let's put some torches around here just to be absolutely safe. Now, what do we need? We need to put down... I should have the chest. Yes, I've got the chest. Let's put this down this, first of all. And in that, we've got everything we need. Good. We shall also put down the waystone. So we don't have to bring the rocket with us again. So, asteroids. And in here I've got some glycine, which is good because I'm going to put that down in this corner here like that. Then we can step into that and get our health back again. What else do we need? Well, I ain't 100% sure. Did I activate this voice and I didn't yet, so let's right click that. Uh, I've still got too much stuff on me. Let's get rid of what do we not? We'll put the rocket in here and the stones. Um, grappling hook will keep with us. And I think.
think that's all we need to do for now. Some, I've got some things floating around there, which is a bit daft. The bottles. No, they're not real because I only had eight. And I've got eight on me. So let's go back to base. And next time... So, moon base. Next time we're going to go and set up the asteroid miner. Oh, I can turn F4 off now, can't I? So I'll come in here because it's got where the oxygen is anyway. So let's press F4. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Learned something new about what you can enchant and what you can't. So until next time, I'm going to say bye for now.